Hello everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. Great excitement, my personal courier pigeon arrived in South Africa last week with my haul from Michaels and Amazon. She brought me my stencil blanks. These beautiful Prisma colors, which I must tell you, are still sitting in their box and I am just too frightened to use them because they're just so yum. And they came with this um, very cute little uh, pencil sharpener and these recollection markers. I actually, for some reason, thought, and that's why I'm looking at the back, I thought they were waterproof or, uh, not waterproof, they were water markers sort of a la Tombo, but clearly not. The Jelly Roll Moonlights I've played with already, they're delicious. They go on so smoothly and their color is just so rich. And then, of course, all the Jade Davenport yummy things. Now, I bought the stencil and I must tell you, um, I have tried it out. Not bad, not my best purchase. Of course, the washi tape, um, I think this is just a little sample of, of the, the washi tape. I could have actually done with buying the rolls. I'm a washi tapeaholic. Yes, I am. And then the Jane Davenport pen. Oh my word, it, it wrote first time. And I must be quite honest, I was a little bit nervous, but absolutely delish. This cut... Uh, yeah, what is it called? Pencil bag. Very nice. Like it. And of course, I had to invest in a charm with the beautiful elastics. I love those colors, which girl doesn't. And the pockets. Well, er originally, I thought I wasn't going to get them. I am so happy that I did. And one of the stencils. Now, I'm not really a stencil person, but I, I figured I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Yum. I like it. It's a great addition to the Butterfly Effect book. And I can't remember where I got these three bits of washi tape, whether it was from Michaels or from Amazon, whether they're Jane Davenport or not, I don't know. But they are going to go into this cover. And then just as an in case, I bought the blank cover so that at some stage I can actually make my own. Well, paint it, of course. So there we go. Let me show you what I actually have done with all of this. So here we go. Now, I originally got my Jane Davenport neutrals and the brights uh, when my personal courier pigeon, said courier pigeon's name is Linda, arrived from the States in January this year. And this gorgeous brights palette was sent to, be, sent to me by my art teacher, Karen Campbell of awesomeartschool.com. I will put a link down t at the bottom of the video. This little bag is amazing it carries so many pencils and pens and whatnot the only thing is that you can see there the little tag was broken or the little um, tassel I beg your pardon was broken already but never mind I can fix that so in this bag I have just the essentials an eraser my Prismacolor blender some white pens and a water brush uh, of course, the ink pen, which is now becoming fastly my firm favorite. Try and say that with a glass of wine inside of you. And all the little do flabby majiffies that go with it. And then uh, the jelly rolls that I just received. That's a pencil. And the sparkly je jelly rolls that I've had for a while. So, as you can see, I mean, that's, what, 30-odd pens that fit into this bag. Just one thing I would have liked, I think, um, I'm not mad about the plastic of the bag, and if it had been made in the same canvas as the Butterfly Effect book cover, I would have been a real happy camper. Nevertheless, it's gorgeous, and, of course, you know, when people see it, they all want to know where it came from. Now, remember, I live in South Africa, so this is all like fairly new I mean I know it's new in the rest of the world but we don't get this sort of stuff until 10 years later so thank you to my personal career pigeon I'm a little worried about the charm um, that it might snap off so I'm going to make a little bit of a, pro um, a plan there so that it doesn't but let me show you how I've set up my butterfly effect book right I love the pocket idea I've put a couple of little cards that um, Oh, that's just a piece of watercolor paper, little cards that I was playing with some, some watercolor, some paint, I'm not sure. 
and I can pull that out and use it at any stage. This is just cardstock that I cut down myself and made my own um, little insert. Um, yep, here are a couple of things that I've started popping on it, playing around with some colours and um, pencils, etc. That's just a blurb of colour with um, blown through a straw. Uh, my horoscope for the week I thought was quite interesting. Y yeah. Okay, elastic band. I haven't yet crimped the um, Jane Davenport elastic, so I'm just using a good old rubber band for that. For the meantime. Anyway, so I didn't want to spoil. Oh, and those were the Moonlight Jelly Rolls. I didn't want to spoil using um, the good insert as yet, which is why I made my own. And then these are some funky little funny washi tape sticker thingamagafters that I found at a hardware store of all places. Anyway, they could be quite nice to add in. It looks like you just pull it off and stick it on. Love these pockets. Super idea. Oh, yes, forgot about these. Uh, very nice. I think I should have bought the rolls. Uh, they, they, I don't want to use them. They're, so, they, they're beautiful and I just don't want to use them. But anyway, they're in the pocket here. Then um, the stencil. One of the things that I don't like about the stencil is that some of the pieces actually uh, turned over. And so I've just, um, in Afrikaans we say plucked. So I've plucked, I've stuck it down with some washi just to keep it from being damaged even further. Then um, I'm sure I'm going to fill these pockets up with a whole bunch of other gumph at some stage, but at the moment I'm keeping the pen insert um, instructions in there. This one has got some of my Tisha Moore printables that I, I printed out and cut out. No doubt they'll get stuck in to one of the inserts at some stage, because, you know, when I'm when I'm not doing anything, I love to keep my hands busy. Now, this is the insert that came with the journal, with the Butterfly Effect book, and I don't want to use it because it's such nice paper. I mean, does anybody else feel the same way? You know, it's almost like I've got all this beautiful stuff and I'm scared to use it up in case I can't get any more. Anyway, these are little post-it note sticker thingies. Oh, man, and they got stuck to the pocket. And um, there we go, got them out. So I can put them, stick them anywhere just to make, you know, a note of, um, I don't know. They're in my pockets. They're there. I'll use them, I'm sure. And uh, what else have I got in here? Mm-hmm, piece of uh, jelly plate print, yes, and that I did some time ago, another one. Also some hand um, inserts that I've made. A diary planner yeah I haven't actually uh, what's the word stapled it I haven't actually stapled it down uh, through the center and the reason for that is this is a nice piece of watercolor paper I can just pull it out if I want to use it and it's a full piece I don't you know I don't have to pull out the booklet and somewhere along the line I forgot to put in a very important piece that will make up my butterfly effect book. And here I'm getting all ready to show you the final layout. Oh, please. Uh, and then I go, oh, oops, hang on, forgot something. Let me go back and grab it and show you. So, peerless watercolors are just fabulous for traveling. So I spent a little bit of time and I cut out, I've only got the 15 Joanne Sharp palette, but I cut out the 15 colors and this uh, piece of film that I put in there is just a piece of film from some packaging. Um, and the peerless watercolors, all I need to do really is just pop them in. And when I'm ready, I will grab my watercolor pen and I'll be able to just use the color straight into my book. Sure, that's quite something. And I'm in love with this book I really am I've never had one before it's the first time um, gee whiz I, I, I didn't even know Midori's existed until everybody went on the Midori um, thing 
So, oh dear, my computer screen has just gone off. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Just hang tight there. Sure, got that back. Okay, so here I'm showing you uh, just how I pick up the paint with my watercolor brush from the Peerless watercolors. And they really, really are beautiful. I must say, not on the particular paper that I'm using, but at any rate, it's just for me to play with at this point. So there we go, people. I truly hope that you've enjoyed my little bit of um, the Jane Davenport Butterfly Effect book. I am so thrilled to have it. Uh, I can't wait to play in it, to add notes, etc. And if you enjoyed watching my video, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up. And come on over, join me at Facebook on Art Journal Junkie. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Speak to you soon and bye for now.